Hello and welcome to Libertas News. It's Tuesday, the 6th of August, and my name is Mark Thomas. One of the leading lights of the largest humanitarian organizations in the world recently visited Dubrovnik. Dr. Miguel Villarol, one of the four vice presidents of the Red Cross, visited Dubrovnik last week on a family cruise. The director of the Dubrovnik Red Cross, Zivko Shimunovic, hosted Villarreal and took the opportunity to brief him on the situation, on the activities of the Red Cross in the city. They also visited the sites where the project Red Cross in the city is being implemented, as well as the volunteers who act as lifeguards on the city's beaches. This is Miguel's first visit to Dubrovnik, and here he is with his family. He is very satisfied and impressed with the city, added Shimunovic. For me, it is a great honour to be here in Dubrovnik and to meet all these volunteers, commented Villarreal. With the opening of two exhibitions in the Homeland War Museum in the Imperial Fortress on top of the Surge Mounting, a two-day commemoration of the Victory and Homeland Thanksgiving Day and the Day of Croatian Veterans began. These new exhibitions were opened on Sunday the 4th of August and both feature numerous interesting objects. Orlando War Years 1991 to 1995, exhibiting artifacts from New Zealand's fund and created by Varina Yurica. And the exhibition Prisoners, a guest exhibition by authors Josip Ivan, Ivan Ivan and Gordana Chep. Both exhibitions mark different occasions, but both were intertwined, celebrating 600 years of Orlando in Dubrovnik and 11 years since the museum on top of the Surge Mountain was opened. The Orlando exhibition highlights what this iconic landmark of Dubrovnik passed through during the Homeland War and includes many original photos and images. This year's newly introduced flights between the US and Dubrovnik are proving to be a real hit. Dubrovnik has been on the radar for more and more Americans over the past few years, thanks largely to the HBO serial Game of Thrones. And now that a direct flight connection between Philadelphia and Dubrovnik has been introduced by American Airlines, the number of US tourists is growing steadily. These flights are the first non-stop connections in 28 years and have proved so popular that American Airlines is laying on an additional service every week in September. Dubrovnik and a selection of interesting locals feature in the new edition of the American Airlines in-flight magazine, American Way, which is now on board every aircraft flying all over the world. The music continues in the 70th Dubrovnik Summer Festival tonight. A concert featuring renowned pianist Yuyang Wang and Andreas Ottensammer on clarinet will start at 9.30 tonight in the beautiful setting of the Rector's Palace. And the music continues tonight on the island of Lopud, with a concert by Goran Jukovic on saxophone and Daniel Detoni on piano. The music kicks off tonight at 9 o'clock in the St. Nicholas Church on the island of Lopud. A warm and sunny day expected tomorrow in Dubrovnik with bucket loads of sunshine and endless blue skies. Highs tomorrow will reach 32 degrees and if you're looking for a dip in the sea, then the Adriatic Sea is currently 24.9 degrees. The forecast in fact for the rest of the week looks like being hot and sunny. As you enter the historic city of Dubrovnik from the Pile entrance, the great Onofrio Fountain will greet you. This impressive fountain is one of the iconic landmarks of the city and served an important role in the times of the Republic. The fountain was built in 1438 and brought water to the city from a series of springs 12 kilometers away. It was constructed between 1438 and 1440 and was designed by the Italian Onofrio della Cava. Today, the Great Onofrio Fountain is still a melting point and a source of refreshment for tourists and locals, with the 16 stone gargoyles constantly supplying a source of fresh, clean water. And yes, the water it delivers is perfectly clean and drinkable. At the opposite end of the stratum, there is another public fountain, the small Onofrio Fountain. This has been Libertas News from Dubrovnik. My name is Mark Thomas. Enjoy your Dubrovnik day. And don't forget you can keep in touch with Libertas News via our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.